are an industrial partner in an NSF program to develop reactors that will work at least up to 40 gigahertz. Um, this is an important project for us. If we can get these devices to work, they have a lot of implication in the types of antennas and being able to tune the antennas that we use for both of our owners. So these are a particular type of antenna called an artificial impedance surface antenna, uh, which is um, a type of antenna that was particularly useful for use in, in automotive applications. For instance, antennas that could be put into the, the window glass of a, of a vehicle. We went to one of the, if not the world's expert in graphene reactors, uh, Professor Steve Kester at the University of Minnesota, to collaborate with him to develop these particular devices. Well, HRL has some specialized equipment that uh, we don't have at our laboratory, so they can do measurements up to 70 gigahertz, and that allows us to really look at the full range of operation uh, for the devices. So the reactors are made out of a material called graphene, which is a single monolayer of carbon. So graphene has a property called the quantum capacitance effect that we're utilizing, which is essentially a physical property of graphene that allows it to have this tunable capacitance property. This property is not easily achievable in other materials, and that's why it's uniquely suited for this application. But today we're trying to do some preliminary uh, design analysis to be able to optimize our devices. So we're going to take the data uh, that we uh, got today and we're going to use it to optimize the devices for the next round of fabrication. And ultimately we would like to be able to see if the devices can meet uh, the 40 gigahertz specification uh, for the automotive applications that we're looking at.